Pisces, this is going to be your bonus love read. Um, you guys earned a bonus because you gave me the most views on my shorts videos. So, I owe you guys a bonus love read. And so here it is. Um, we are going to use all of my love decks. And I think I have 11. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. So I have 11 love decks. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and jump right in because I don't want this reading to last Oh, that. All right. So Pisces, what deck are we going to start out with for you? Let's start out with the power of love. All right. We're reading now for Pisces. Reading for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? And this is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you, Pisces. Okay, we're going to take two cards of each. So we have evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So you've evolved to the point where you don't, you realize that everything that has happened has been part of your soul's evolution, right? From the changing of your DNA to, you know, your soul's growth, your soul's evolution. Nothing is, nothing is standing in your way. It's this energy of, there's, there's, you are unstoppable. There's nothing that can stand in your way, Pisces, right? Everything is just a learning lesson. There's nothing that is too big for you to conquer at this time. You're on your greatest path. Present, you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstance. Woo, Pisces, look at you. So you're really enjoying life at this moment. You're learning to stay in the now. There's no looking back on the past. I'm sorry if there's any background noise. My children are being absolutely insane tonight. And I cannot get them to settle down no matter what. Other than, you know, putting them to bed. <laughs> but it's too early for that. So you're staying present and in the moment. And no matter what happens in your life, you are able to see the essence of love in everything that happens, right? There's this very beautiful energy of unconditional love surrounding your whole entire aura, Pisces. It's absolutely beautiful and I love it. Okay, so, hmm. Let's start out with the, oh God, I always forget what this deck is called. I have to check it out really quick. It is the Tarot of the Heart. Now these cards are all major arcana cards. So um, that's why you only see major arcanas with these. What do we have for Pisces? And if something shows up, I will I have another tarot deck that we can get into that has, you know, regular, has major and minor. So there we go. So we'll say, what do we have for Pisces, please? We have the High Priest. So this is Taurus energy. Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus. Your person might be a Taurus. Um, oh, wait, the high priest. Is that the emperor? No, that's... Hmm. Wow. And we have deep sexual attraction. Um, no, that's not the emperor. It's the high priest. So it would be um, the hierophant. So whoever this person is, Pisces, that you're dealing with right now, they definitely want to commit to you. They see a future with you. And it's because of this energy. They they are heavily 
attracted to you. They're, you tempt them in ways that no one has. They are highly sexually attracted to you. The devil card for me is the card of deep sexual attraction, temptation, lust in a good way. Um, there, it's it's the card of obsession, like not a low vibrational obsession because I don't channel low vibrational stuff. So this would be a deep sexual attraction obsession um, in a good way, right? It's a high vibe obsession. <laughs> so this is someone who's done their healing work and yet they still are extremely tempted by you. So this is a good thing, right? This, this would not be the energy of like an obsessed stalker who wants to kill you. That's low vibrational. This would be someone who is, you know, has done their healing work, most of their healing work, and, you know, they're a high vibrational being and they just want to fucking bite your booty. That's all. <laughs> I hope they don't censor that because I said that. Um, yeah, but they want to bite your butt. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that came out. Other than maybe they really do want to butt your butt. I don't know. But also they, they want to commit to you. The high priest is um, it is the hierophant, which is the card of marriage and commitment. Okay, so. And just to prove to you, I know what I'm talking about. We're going to look this card up for sure <clears throat> just so you know I'm not lying boom boom <laughs> if you are together and unmarried the high priest can foretell unity and therefore marriage <laughs> uh, boom 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 so I know what I'm talking about. I know my tarot cards, you guys. I know what they mean in a love reading. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. Okay, never doubt me. All right, so there's that energy. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go on to the hmm, psychic. I think this is psychic tarot of the heart. John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart. I love this deck. I don't know. I just feel like throwing some more tarot in it. So we're going to do that. Move this deck over. All right. What else do we got for Pisces here? What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces? Whoops. The fuck kind of a shuffle was that? Ha <laughs> Wow. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? Two cards, please. Bam, told you. This is a very, very, very deep connection, Pisces. We have the Two of Cups coming together. So, the Two of Cups is... The ultimate card, it's like the card of twin flame, soulmate, spiritual connection, divine union, right? Whoever this person is that's on your mind, Pisces, they definitely feel the same way about you. They feel very, uh, very, um, <clears throat> very much in love with you. I mean, you already you got all the cards are pointing to the fact that this person wants to be with you. We have the two of cups. We have marriage card. Look, number seven is crown chakra. So both of you right now are receiving downloads about each other. Um, more is going to be revealed as time goes along about the depth of this connection. Right? You're going to get a lot of signs and synchronicities, and I feel like it. It has to do a lot. Um, we have, if you look, this is the crown chakra, which, which is the chakra where your downloads come in. If you look here, this heart that they're holding is also the color of the crown chakra, right? And then we have the pearl. 
which represents grace and purity. And this is going to be a very, very lucky period for you guys as far as your love life. Both of your love life because this is number seven. If you're in separation, you won't be for long. Two is the number of unity and um, union. We don't even need to throw any more tarot on that. That's your energy in this connection is freaking insane. It's very intense. <laughs> oh God, why are some of these cards upside down? We're going to have to fix that. So I'm going to do the Monara deck. This is an erotic oracle, so I will have to cover some of them up. You know, if they show stuff because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube. So we're going to do what we can. I don't know how some of these got put upside down, but we're going to fix them because I don't read reversals, especially for this deck. There's no like reversals for this. So. All right, so let me go ahead and shuffle these. I'm sorry, my kids are so loud. I need to go tell them to calm down. All right, what else do we got for Pisces here? What else do we have for Pisces? Okay, let's see what we got for you, Pisces. Okay, this one doesn't show too much. We have creative intimacy, number 17. So I'll cover up the, the boobies. But if you look at this card, there's um, a man and he's painting on the woman's body. See that, right? So it's about being intimate together, Pisces, with your partner in ways which are extremely creative. You know, I once um, had an intimate relationship with someone and we, we actually had a really great time painting on each other's bodies. We literally made canvases out of each other's body, just like the card. And it was an um, unforgettable experience. And I, you know, so, you know, there's different ways to create intimacy between each other. And that's what you and your partner will be learning to do is how to create intimacy in ways that are creative and fun for both of you. And then we have loving and trusting yourself. Look at that, Pisces. So you are going through this phase where you're really learning how to love yourself. Hopefully the bunny is covering up the nudity, is it? Yes, it looks like it is. So... You're learning to love yourself. I can't leave that card up there. It's too much nudity. You're learning to love yourself. Most importantly, you're learning to trust yourself after a period of feeling like maybe you couldn't trust yourself. Maybe you felt like you were going crazy. Maybe you were in the midst of your awakening and things felt... Um, Almost like this energy of chaos, right? When you first start awakening, things get real really quickly, right? And, you know, it, you have to learn in this journey how to trust yourself. And that comes with time, right? Listening to your intuition and seeing things that you, you know, have intuited yourself, right? Things that you have seen and predicted yourself and following the signs and synchronicities and seeing them, you know, actually come true or seeing the signs and synchronicities actually leading you somewhere. And then you learn to trust yourself. And that's what you're doing right now. So you can trust that your guidance and the guidance that you are led to follow are leading you straight to this connection, which is going to thrive. And we got number two, which is the energy of union again, right? 20. <clears throat> and zero, which is zero point, right? From zero point, it's the energy of, of 
you can start completely over from zero point you can create all the energy that you need to create the life that you want now I don't know if anyone's ever told you this but you can create your own reality with your thoughts and that's what zero points about it's about starting from scratch okay sorry about that and pause it so and the creative intimacy is about learning to be um, creative with yourself and also with your partner. So it's a way to create intimacy between both of you in ways that are fun, right? You know, so this would be like, for example, um, both of you really like sweets. So then you could take sweets and, you know, take that love of sweets into the bedroom somehow, right? And, you know, blindfold each other, allow each other to taste things off of each other. That would be an example of creative intimacy, right? <clears throat> um, so it's number 17. If you add it up, it's number eight. So there's also this energy of your love being eternal, not even death, not even death could kill your love. This is a love that has been, it's past life love, right? Ooh, your two cards fell out back to back as I was shuffling. Follow your passions and it will lead your heart to a surplus of love and abundance in all areas of your life. So what is it, Pisces, that sets your soul on fire? What is it that makes your soul shine? What is it that makes you happy? Because following that is what's going to lead you to your greatest path of abundance. That's where the money just comes easily. It just falls in your lap. And not just, um, you know, money. Also, like... Your love life will flourish when you do what you love as well, okay? Because it says it will lead your heart to a surplus of love and abundance in all areas of your life, all areas, not just, you know, it's in all areas. So your spiritual growth, your love life, your financial status, right? All of it will succeed if you're following what you like to do, what is fun for you, right? Right? Your love life is improving. The work you've put in to improve yourself is changing your beliefs and attracting the right people into your life. Wow. So your self-love is creating this glow about you, Pisces. And not only that, you're literally changing all of those limited belief systems that you had you're literally reprogramming your mind and it's attracting people that are more um, aligned to your new high vibration right you're no longer attracting any low vibrational energies from now on it's only high vibrational people that you're going to be attracting into your life okay Let's see what the love oracle has to say for you, Pisces. So if you continue to vibrate at this super high level, you have no choice but to attract in your person, right? But they have to meet you at your level, right? They can't come in with like, a low vibe attitude or a low vibration because they're going to miss you. New love. Look at that. So you're definitely attracting someone in Pisces. Now, this doesn't mean that this is a completely new person. It could be a new person. And for some of you, yes, it definitely is. And for some of you, it's your old person coming in with a new vibration, right? A higher vibration, awakened, grass is greener. So for some of you, 
you know, your person thought that the grass was greener on the other side, and then they realized that it wasn't. They realized nobody could replace Pisces, right? They were like, nope. They knew that nobody could take your place, right? And that's why they're coming back. That's why they they had to go and leave to raise their vibration so they could meet you at your level. They knew that was the only way to gain access to you again is if they came at a higher vibration. They had to meet you at your level. Okay, so the romance angel said, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So yes, this is real, Pisces. The feelings are not imagined. The, the person that you're thinking about, they do have romantic feelings for you and you have romantic feelings for them and it's mutual, okay? It's worth exploring those feelings. Dive deep into that beautiful, watery um, emotions that you know you are so used to Pisces and feel all of the emotions codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so there's something either in your energy or your person's energy which is affecting your love life and it's something to do with codependency so this could be you know you relying too much on an ex-partner um it could be other things that you're relying on, like, you know, your, um, any type of negative habits that you, you know, are trying to get rid of things that can be considered codependency, you know, um, things like, um, dependency on sugar, foods, um, Anything that can cause any type of dependency, right? Any type of addiction, right? Drinking, um, nicotine, whatever. Anything that has a pot potential to be addicting and hold you back. So a spirit is saying it's time to move on from that. You no longer need any of these vices because... You don't want it to affect your love life, right? Right. So we might need to get rid of some old things. If this is your partner's energy, then, you know, you just have to give them space to allow them to get rid of these, you know, codependency issues you can't force anyone right we have to remember the law of detachment which states you can't control people or places or things you just have to let things flow you have to let things flow as hard as it is you have to you cannot be attached to an outcome because then you create a blockage and when you're in a flow state you have no attachments to any of the outcome. You just allow it to happen. And whatever happens is going to happen for your greatest good. So you know that things are always working out for you, right? Always, Pisces, always. Okay, we're going to do, let's see. This is the love. It's called the love deck. That's all it's called. <laughs> And if there's any shadows that you are trying to hide, Pisces, believe me, this is a shadow deck. It's also um, a blessings and a love, um, blessings and a luck deck. So whatever comes out, whatever will be, will be, my beautiful Pisces. Don't shoot the messenger. Adventure. Woo. So some of you have, this is a luck card. You have some grand adventure coming up. In regards to your love life. Ooh, look at you. Feels like you're going to be traveling with your partner. Your new partner likes to travel. It's number 10. Yes, there's going to be a fresh start for, for you. This feeling of everything starting again and again. 
it's all starting over again. The adventures, the fun. A possible safari, maybe in Africa. Look at that. Communication, number five, healing. So the problems that you guys had with communication, it's over. Look at that, number five, healing. It says healing right there. Communication, communication. If your person hasn't reached out, they're going to. Claim it, they're going to. And you guys are gonna go on a trip together. Look at that. But first comes the communication. Maybe you choose to go on an adventure by yourself and then your person decides to communicate. Either way, look, there's a phone, there's a letter, there's an email, cell phone. Look at that, yeah. It's communication. Number five and number 10. Five is the number of big happy changes in your connection. So if things were stagnant, they're not going to be for long. All right, let's get two cards from the Whispers of Love. Um, and then we will do some character traits of your person, possibly. I'll explain how that works. And then we're going to end with a message from your person. Beautiful Pisces. So if you want to continue to stay up on top, just keep sharing the videos with all your Pisces friends. Because the more Pisces watches, the more views you get from Pisces, the more bonus reads you guys get. So the ones with the most views get bonus reads. Forgiveness, oh my gosh, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So someone has to be forgiven. Whether that's forgiving yourself or forgiving your person for any imagined past grievances. I know that's harder said than done, but that's the only way unconditional love works, right? Now, forgiving someone doesn't mean that it excuses any of their bad behavior because it doesn't. And forgiving them doesn't mean that you can allow them to come back in and to hurt you again. Now, this is up to you. You know if this person is worth forgiving or not, right? But most importantly, if you choose to forgive them, that doesn't necessarily mean they have to come back in your life. This forgiveness is for you. It's so that you can move forward in love and find love again, Pisces, okay? I am so thirsty today. So much running around and so much yoga. And I'm so thirsty. So this is number 29. I told you this was a twin flame connection. Look, 9 and 2 added up. 9... 10, 11. It's number 11. And if you look right here, there's a flame there. Look at that. It is a twin flame connection. Look. Two faces, a flame, two people, two twins, two hands. It's fire and ice. This relationship is helping you both to, to ascend. Look at the steps going up. There's been so much growth in this connection since it started. Wow. And look what's next, Pisces. We have romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. This is the energy coming up next for you. If you look at this, look, she's a mermaid. Do you see this? So some of you have had some Lemurian past lives, and that's where you guys met in your first life. And that's why you recognize each other in this life. Look, he's a man. He has legs. He's an earth creature. She is a land, I mean, a water creature. It's Pisces energy, totally Pisces energy. She's a water creature, right? 
but she's also able to live on land, which represents her ability to go to both dimensions at once. The physical and then also the etheric, right? In the ether, she can travel through both realms, the realm of the dead, the realm of the living. She can travel through dimensions. Look at that. So this feminine has all of these abilities, right? She's a Lemurian star seed. Whoever this reading is for, your person or this is you, you're a Lemurian star seed. That's where you and this person first met. Look at that's where your connection comes from. Both of the cards feel very Lemurian, very Atlantean. The energy is very watery, right? That's how your souls know each other. If that resonates, then that's your story. This is also number 25. You add it up and it's seven, okay? Again, there's that energy of good luck in your love life, right? And you'll know this is your person because they'll be very romantic. They'll have a very romantic soft side. Just like you, Pisces. All right, let's do some character traits of your person. So I'm going to explain how this works. Character traits, wow, it's just 31, 31 on my camera. You can't make it up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to explain it like this. So if there's, you know, 50 Pisces that watch me, and I'll split you up in 25, you know. Um, so say like over half of the Pisces that watch me, their person has, um, you know, blonde hair. That's over half, right? And then the rest of you that watch me, like maybe, I don't know, 10, 20%, whatever, your person has red hair, right? It's going to pick up on the highest energy of the most. The energy of the most and the highest energy form, right? So if most of the people that watch me, their person has um, blonde hair, it's going to show up. One of the character traits would, that would obviously show up would be blonde hair, right? Because most of the people that watch me, you know, their person has blonde hair, right? So it doesn't mean that it's not picking up on your person that you're with right now. It's just saying it's, your energy is not the highest energy of percentage of people that watch me. Does that make sense? So also, if you comment and interact with me in any way on the reading, right, that also helps me to pick up on your energy. Now, whether you message me on Instagram, you know, shoot me on a message and say, hi, I watched whatever reading and this resonated, that means I'm sharing energy with you and I will be able better to pick up and channel on your energy. And this is, this is, this is honest to God, you guys, this is going to sound crazy, but it's a proven fact. This has happened to me over and over again. Anytime I connect with someone, then eventually what happens is I channel their story every single time. Okay. And I get messages upon messages. Oh my God, you channeled my story. And it's because they've interacted me in, with me in some way. Even just leaving a comment, liking the video, that, sh that is a form of energy exchange. And then I can pick up on your energy vibe and your aura. And then I can better read for you and your story. It's not just about, oh, like the video because I want likes. I want the higher algorithm. I don't care about that. I've been doing this since 2018. If I was worried about views and getting famous or whatever, I would have already, you know, been like, oh, whatever, I'm quitting, blah, blah, blah. Things aren't going how, how I want them to, whatever. It's not about that. It's about connecting with your energy fields so that I can better channel for you, okay? Does that make sense? All right. I mean, it also does help with the algorithm, but that's not the main reason I asked you guys to like, okay, or to comment. And so I can better assist you and serve you. Okay, Pisces, character traits, other person. Ooh, those two flew out, so we're taking them both. We have thin body and 20s. 
So for the most of you that watch me, your person's in their 20s and they have a thin body. We'll get one more. One more character trait, please. So those are some character traits to look out for. Or, you know, you probably, if you know, if you have an idea of who this person is, that's how you would verify, right? Sense of humor. They're also funny as F. <laughs> Look at that. They're a freaking goofball, Pisces. Just like you. Okay, so <laughs> I have a lot of Pisces friends, and they're really, really funny. That's what I love about Pisces is y'all are so funny. You just crack me up. It's so cute. I just love it. Look at that. Boom. I'm cutting the deck and there it is. There's your confirmation. I know what I'm talking about. I'm good at my job. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, toot. There it is. Tootie, fruity, booty. I'm good. I'm spirit be talking through me. Okay, so we're going to get the last three cards of the message from your person. The stuff that they're too much of a little bitch to say to your face. All right, I'm just going to pick three at random. Boom. 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 All right, Pisces. So the first card that came out says, your light leaves me in awe. Oh my God, you're so shiny to them. So you are literally a light in their dark world. When they feel so crappy and under the weather and low vibrational, they can go on any of your social medias and just stare at you and you just light up their world. It says, your light leaves me in awe. They are awestruck by you. They're just like, it's like when they see you, they instantly feel peace and calm and they're literally like flabbergasted i don't even know if that's a word but that's what came out you leave them in awe they're they they're speechless they're they just think that your light body is so beautiful and look there it is i'm channeling it says you're you are so beautiful this was the last card that came out but I kept hearing beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there it is. They are so attracted to you. I told you that. Remember I said they think you're, they're obsessed with you. They, they're so sexually attracted to you. There it is. I'm not lying. I know what I'm channeling. <laughs> and this one, I promise to always love you. Oh, forever. Look, there's the little mermaid. It's Ariel. <laughs> I know exactly who I have to send this reading to. And there's a lot of sinks for a friend of mine. I'm going to have to send it to her. Um, I promise to always love you. This is like that Whitney. And I'm hearing that Whitney Houston song in my head. And I, I will always love you. I. Sorry, I cannot sing like Whitney. But that you get the idea, right? And I. <laughs> that song I promise to always love you so they're they're done they're done look I promise to always love you they're smitten boom there's your light boom there's your light boom there's your light your light leaves me in awe I'm going to call this reading awestruck. Boom. All right, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Your energy is gorgeous. Your person's energy is gorgeous. They are completely obsessed with you. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Lying that you're sexing me with everybody else. It's clear that you're upset with me. <laughs> oh, God. Finally found a girl that you couldn't impress. I love that song. Okay, that song came out too. So there you go. Um, those are your channel messages, Pisces. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. Below my videos, you just have to click on the description box. All my prices are there. Um, yeah. 
awesome. This this is going to be for reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Pisces. Bye.